My bass player. I've known him for. Uh... Yep. Okay, we're now in Tokyo at Delight, and I found this guy from Glendale or LA area somewhere, and it's. We're at the dice party, and they're not here. <laughs> what a party, how they throw it. Yeah, and this is Mike Barrian. So, how did you. Become this bike builder, rock star, genius. <laughs> well, thank you very much, by the way, for saying such lovely things. Um, I became a bike builder with just, I think I was born one. Okay. You know, um, that's what I was good at in school, auto mechanics, and. Uh, oh, you, you did some uh, school training for wrenching and so on? You? Yeah, you know, high school, auto yeah. mechanics, you know, I wanted to get out of math and history yeah. and all those types of things. So that's where I fell at, at home, you know, and I shined well. Yeah. And then, you know, like everybody, I bought a, I bought a Harley Davidson, and as you know, you buy a Harley Davidson, you learn how to work. Yeah, or you're bound to. Or you're going to pay somebody else to do it, and I couldn't afford to pay anybody else to work on my motorcycle, so. Was that already on, on uh, were you already in California then, or? Yeah, when I bought my first Harley, I was, I was in LA. I I think I was about 17 years old. Yeah. And I bought my first Harley Sportster and um, started to work on it immediately. And then I traded it to a, a big twin, like a 70s shovel head. Yeah. And uh, it was such a great bike because as I bought it, the way I bought it, it was beautiful. It was like an old. It was like an old bike club bike, you know, a rigid frame shovel, a dual disc front end, yeah. white glide. Uh. But then in between you played with uh, different rock bands or only one band or? Uh, I played with lots of different bands until one finally uh, hit, stuck, took off. And um, in between tours and rehearsals I went. I was good with cars, so I'd fix people's cars and All right. do yeah, brakes, so convert things to brakes, put 350 motors in, and it was just handy like that, you know? So, but when did the name Evil Spirit first come into your mind? Well, um, I was playing in a rock and roll band and I really got into this, um, this band called The Gories. Yeah. Um, who now is the, the Dirt Bombs and the singer Mick and uh, on the back cover of uh, one of their records yeah. the guitar player was wearing a t-shirt that said Evil Spirit on it yeah. and it was the name of a drag car yeah. um, oh okay and uh, it just really took me you know yeah. and um, I started a band a side band not my main band where yeah. I sang and uh I uh, kind of emulated what what Mick was doing in the glory. Right? Two guitar players and a drummer, and I just kind of I just the, that's where the word just stuck with me. I started to write it on things. And, you know, I got a shirt like that. I think I printed it on it. You know, I was just a big kid. And then one day, and then one day, I was I, you know I, I stopped playing music and I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I decided to my friends were like, you know, you should open up a shop. And I was like, open up a shop. And we already have one. You, know, you have a shop in your garage. And I asked another friend, what do I call it? And, uh, I'm trying to think of a name. And, and he looked at me and goes, I thought you called it Evil Spirit. Oh, okay. And I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, well, we wrote it on your helmet, we did this, we did that, and, uh, and I was like, okay, maybe you're right. So that's so how it came about. If we go to this uh, weekend, how did you end up here in uh, Tokyo and Yokohama? Um, I've always, for years, I've been enamored by... Uh, the Japanese bike scene um, yeah. uh, through Vibes magazine, Hot yeah. Bike, and uh, Hardcore Chopper, and uh, just the way that they did our motorcycles was a huge influence on me. Zero engineering, yeah. And um, I always wanted to come and uh, be in magazines out here. And, so, but the I, bike, I, the bike was that built just for the Moon Eyes purpose, or you already had it, had it ready for? 
the show season? Yeah, it was like a show season vibe. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, what am I going to do next year? What are we, like, already, I'm building next year's motorcycle. Yeah. You know, it's a good way to put it, the show season. It's like, you know, I want to go out and I want to show a new a new motorcycle. My buddy Mark Wanabe and I were talking about next year's motorcycle. Yeah. I, uh... Um, I had the motorcycle, I have done well with it this year. I've taken it to New York, I took it to Las Vegas, I took it to Los Angeles Born Free. Um, I was taking it to shows before I was done with it. And, um, yeah, you were saying Born Free, you will be one of the builders of Born Free 4? This, yeah, this next year, they, yeah. Yeah. 2012, yeah. And so, I, you know, I, I, um, I came to Japan last year, first time with my father. Yeah. We checked it out. Yeah. We were really moved by it. We saw a lot of the industry here. We made yeah. friends. And uh, I decided to come back this year. And this time, they have a group that my apparel. And I brought my motorcycle. And uh, for some reason, Shig and Jess, upon arrival, made me part of the show. All right, Mike, thank you, and I will see you in California next year. And this is the shirt. Rat.